The Missouri River near Helena is a hot spot for sapphire mining in the summertime, but only certain sapphires can be transformed from this into this. The cartoons when you're growing up, you see they discover these jewels and they're already cut and they're already beautiful. That's just simply not how it works. Personal jeweler and owner of Big Sky Brilliance, Dylan Ewalls, says it boils down to not all rough is created equal. He says some sapphires may be too small or have too many fractures and damage to be used. Ewell says certain shapes of the uncut sapphires may only be able to be made into certain shapes for the finished product. Cass Thompson, the co-owner of the Spokane Bar in El Dorado Sapphire Mines, echoes these parameters. Really, a sapphire as small as like one carat can be uh, faceted and cut and turned into jewelry, as long as it, it's a starting point where it's nice and clean and clear. The sapphire mines are open for the public to sift through sapphire gravel or go on guided hand digs. I've seen it from wedding rings. I've seen engagement rings. Um, I've seen it as, as simple as a, a nine-year-old girl wanting a new set of earrings and finding stones worthy of being uh, earrings. While it may be cheaper for you to send your finds overseas to be cut, Ewald says to maybe consider someone in the United States as they are more likely to be able to assess the rough and give you a better idea for the shapes and sizes it can yield. You may end up with something that doesn't fit that calibrated size and then you ultimately end up with a stone that has to have something custom made for it, which just creates a big barrier to entry. Both Ewalls and Thompson say the best way to figure out whether or not a sapphire could possibly be used for jewelry is to get it assessed before getting it faceted. In Helena, I'm Ali Kaiser, MTN News.